and welcome back to my channel. Don't mind the quarantine hair. I have let all of my uh, purple wash out and I don't feel like wasting my product if I'm not even really seeing anybody right now. So I just decided to let it go. You could see it's like faded. My highlights are like kind of like purple, like light, light purple, but like it looks gray because all my purples faded out, but the highlights are still there. So yeah, so this is my quarantine hair, guys. <laughs> I cut my bangs and I give myself a little bit of a trim, so I, I have been trimming my own hair through through this. Just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a quarantine vlog. I've been seeing a lot of quarantine vlogs out on the YouTubes right now. So today, I don't really have anything planned other than just doing some outdoor work. I think it's really important during this quarantine to get outside, get your vitamin D, get out in the dirt, take a walk, stay active, especially mentally. It's a great way to keep yourself sane. And I'm not the best gardener, but I'm gonna try my hand at it this year. I bought some pansies yesterday that I want to plant around the lamppost and then I also bought some sunflower seeds that I want to put along the end of our driveway and also I bought two rose bushes from Costco so I want to plant those soon because my mom has a rose bush and I really love hers and then I was really upset when I moved out of their house that I no longer have a rose bush so I'm going to plant my own rose bush and we'll see how it goes. So yeah I'm gonna get outside in the dirt today. Also I was doing a little bit of cleaning in my book Kimi Magic Studios headquarters. I'll just give you a brief peek at it right now so you can see how it's looking. Avi did the door. He gave me a new door. He did the molding around the inside. I've just been trying to straighten up a little bit and get that underway. And then we have this troublemaker right here. This is the new door, guys. I'm so excited. Um, so this is what I've been using as my table right now. Um, I haven't been able to go to my parents yet to get my desk since we're all in lockdown. And here's a new plant that I got that I already managed to kill. So I kind of accidentally forgot about this because I haven't been here in a few days, actually a week, because my husband's been working on this door project all week. So um, kind of forgot about it, but I watered it and I hope it comes back to life. I'm not the best with plants, guys. That's why all my gardening I do outside. Anything in a pot, kept inside, I managed to kill. But anyways, a beautiful apothecary cabinet. And I also organized my paints, which I hope to do a lot of painting and stuff soon. Here's another project that I kind of have going on. I made a whole bunch of these little cute affirmational little bead strings. I found a stick on a nature walk that I'm going to attach all these onto. So I want to kind of make like a little wind chime thing with these beads. And I'm not sure if I'm going to hang it outside, but I think it might be cool to hang it on this wall when you're coming in. And then I picked up some baskets from my parents' house that I had in my old room and um, I went through a bunch of magazines this morning and cleaned up a lot so I consolidated, threw a lot of stuff away and um, I have all the ones that I'm keeping in this little basket here. And it doesn't shut but that's fine. <laughs> I use these basically for collages and like all my artwork that I have here. Here's a couple of my most recent collages. So you can see I have some magazine cutouts. Here's another one that I made here. So I thought that was really cute. And I hopefully want to frame these and then maybe put them on the walls to brighten up the space. That's what I have going on right now. So my husband just came in and he ordered me to go in the backyard and pick up any branches that I see. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So if you guys want to come along with me and pick up some branches, because we got to clean this house up. It's kind of looking a little, little, little Joe Exotic right now, if you know what I mean. So we actually got this potting bench yesterday at Costco. So I'm super excited to start planting some stuff on here. And now I will pick up some branches. some of the smaller twigs and sticks so I can start making my little fairy furniture and yesterday I bought these beautiful pansy blooms that I'm going to plant my lamppost. These are dying already so I need to get those in the ground ASAP. And I gotta clean up this area over here. Those are old mums. Gotta pick up leaves and I took out these 
Halloween things that we've had up all year and took out some of my spring steaks. And here is where I'm going to put my pansy blooms. I'm gonna take out these old dead mum branches left over from the fall. I'm gonna plant them under the lamppost. And then I have to get some flowers for over here. But this gets a lot of shade, so I'm going to have to find some shade loving plants for over here. But this over here gets some sun. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I have some tea right here because it's got a bit chilly out since earlier. So yeah, gonna get planting. So I actually found a little mum root ball when I was digging out all the other dead mums. So I think I'm going to try to transplant that in here and hopefully that'll take bud and maybe that'll plant itself in here for next year. Mums are pretty hardy so Hopefully that works. I've never done that before, so we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to dig around the lamppost and I'm going to mix a little potting soil in with the actual soil. And then I'm gonna take the pansy plants, plant them in, pack that with dirt, and then I'm going to top with mulch. I found guys. I found some earthworms. Okay, so this is what I have going so far. I got two purple bigger plants and then two smaller yellow ones. And I might put in a couple more yellow to fill it out a little bit more. Or maybe I'll put one of these. It's more like white and purple, which is pretty to break up the solid purple. So it's about 6 30 p.m. I took a little bit of a tea break and I'm looking a little bit like a bridge troll right now. I haven't showered yet today. I'm still working in the garden. So I planted all of my pansies and I'm trying to clean up a little bit of the old mum mess in front of our front door and then I don't know. It's getting darker out so I don't know if I'll have some time to pull some weeds today but um yeah I'm just having fun outside getting my hands in the dirt and yeah outside so it's gonna get back at it Hey guys, I didn't really end my vlog yesterday, but I thought I would do a little bit of a follow-up on the flowers that I added to my lamppost. So I planted them yesterday, and as you guys saw, some of them were a little wilty, but I did water them after I planted them, and then yesterday, last night, it actually rained. So today, they actually perked up a lot, so I want to show you how they looked since they got a little bit of water and got to rooting in the ground. So as you can see, they are all standing upright now and the ones that were wilted are much more lively than they were yesterday so I'm very happy with this so I am very happy with the results here and this one's not even flowering yet so I don't know what's going on here but there's no flowers yet on that one
So yeah, this one's looking a little rough. And this one hasn't opened its butt yet. So just waiting for that to happen. And then I cleaned up this area yesterday, took out all the old mums, and took out all the rest of the fall leaves that were in that corner over there. Took out my, my spring spikes, and I put out my garden plaques. And on this side, I cleaned all of this up as well. And I put in my little fairy house. So I wanna do a lot more of this fairy house stuff around here. Also cleaned out a lot of this area um, and there's a lot of like lily bulbs that I have to dig out because they've been invading this whole bed right here I think those are kind of pointless because the deer eat them and they don't really flower till early summer so I want to get them out of here and I think we might put rose bushes here so digging all of this out and I think we're gonna refresh the soil here and then here are the rose bushes we're gonna plant they need to be planted in a sunny area these are grandiflora love roses so then here all of this ivy i want to get rid of because it just collects all the leaves from the fall and i actually want to put some sunflowers over here so sunflowers i think here would look really really pretty So that's our plans for now, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what else I want to grow around here since it's finally getting nicer out. And the Grandiflora roses my mom actually plants, so I really want to plant some of those because they're so pretty. have it that has been my quarantine so far i hope you enjoyed this video if you have definitely comment rate and subscribe and please share this with anybody who you think could benefit from some light-hearted whimsical goodness right now i hope that my videos are helping you through this rough time and even if i haven't been posting regularly right now definitely go through my channel and look at all my past videos because i have some really cute videos and really fun content that i have made in the past and also another idea that i had was i maybe i'll make a watch party for some of my older videos on my facebook page. You can definitely check me out on facebook.com slash bohemian magic studios and hopefully I get that up and running soon. Uh, well the Facebook page is up and running but hopefully I can get my videos up there so I can create some watch parties and then you guys can watch all those videos together. And they're whimsical and fun and I know we need to focus on positivity right now and that's all that I try to make my videos about. And that's my vibe. Even through this apocalypse right now I've been trying to kind of maintain the same mentality that I always do um, even through the darkness you gotta shed some light or you will go crazy <laughs> so that is all you guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate that you're here with me today let me know what other videos you would like to see from me and I will try my best to make those happen for you I will be back very soon stay safe stay healthy love you guys we will get through this together see you soon bye <laughs> Thank you to my patrons, Megan Baker, Dee Carubia, and Michelle Zeman for making this video possible. If you would like to help support these videos, you can join me on my creative journey at patreon.com slash bohemian magic studios. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here really soon.